Work the word. It's time to work the word Wednesday. Listen, come on in to the lunch table. Join me at the lunch table. Y'all know how we do it. We're joining at the lunch table. We're getting ready to chat and eat at the same time. So listen, if you will, please join and share. It is time for Work the Word Wednesday. So listen, this is the time where we come together and we say, how you doing? How's life? And also talk about the Word of God. So listen, I'm hoping that you join me on today for Work the Word Wednesday. I, it is important that we come together on one accord um, to share God's great news. You know, we learning from each other. And so don't forget when you join and share that you also are letting me know what you're having for lunch. Y'all, this is the lunch table. The lunch table, you're supposed to bring your lunch to the table. We talked about this last week. Bring your paper bags, bring your lunch bags, whatever you got packed away. Now, I don't do leftovers, okay? <laughs> and some of you know me, I do not do leftovers. So listen, if you got your leftovers for lunch, I need you to go ahead and just get them to the table because we have a conversation to talk about. Listen, today we are going to talk about the truth. Oh man, I know nobody wants to tell the truth, but listen, the truth will make you free. <laughs> so listen, if you will, please join and share. Offer someone else the opportunity to join us at the lunch table. Y'all know how it was when you were at the lunch table. Only certain people considered this lunch table and only other people considered that lunch table. But that's not that kind of table. We're here together on one accord. We're all sisters and brothers in Christ. And so we're going to come together and work the word Wednesday. So listen, join and share. Don't, make sure you share. Don't just take it and eat it all for yourself. <laughs> I'm saying God bless to you all on today. I'm saying God bless to everyone that is joining in. I am trying to um type and talk to you. Hey, Felicia. <laughs> Great job to the crew that work uh, on Saturday for uh, Micro Bigs launch. We appreciate you. Listen, that was our first time working together, but I'm telling y'all, we did a thing, right? So kudos to you all. Hey, Shay Shay. Hi, Prophet, uh, excuse me, Lady J. Amen. Anna, Linda, thank you all so much for coming. Hey, Shereen, how you doing, boo? Um, I'm so grateful that you all are um, joining and you are sharing. Um, I pray that you all... Um, continue to um, offer someone else to come to the lunch table. So make sure you are um, joining and sharing um, at this time. So listen, we are um, also going to ask you all, I'm trying to pin it. Y'all already know how it works. I don't really know all of this stuff. <laughs> so I'm trying to um, put on there the scriptures as well as I'm going to ask you all to join and subscribe to the YouTube. Your girl trying to find herself. <laughs> Hi, Missy. <laughs> so listen, we're out at the lunch table. We're just prepping. We're just getting ourselves ready so that we can have a conversation because somebody got to learn how to tell the truth around here, right? So listen, y'all know we have talked about patience. We've talked about courage. We talked about surrendering. We've talked about um a promise is a promise. When, when God speaks and says something over your life, when he declares something, it shall happen. Amen. And even in when the fire comes to try to uh, make it feel like it's not going to happen, we know without a doubt it's going to happen. So listen, I need you all to join and share. And I think that I might got it where I need to be. Uh, pen. I think I got it, y'all. I'm learning. I'm learning a thing or two. Hi, Rachel. Hey, Dijon. Dijon. Hi, Nick. Hey, Nicholas. How you doing? Tyra. All right. So the people are coming in. Alicia, you all are coming in. Thank you so much once again for joining and sharing and allowing the people to join us here at the table. It is important that we share the good news. So listen, today is a Work the Word Wednesday. Today is the day that the Lord has made. 
we shall rejoice and definitely be glad in it. So listen, today we're going to get started. We are going to talk about the truth, right? Today we're going to talk about making sure that we tell the truth. The Bible tells us it's important for us to tell the truth. And I know that it takes a lot for the people, for us to tell the truth. You know, it's, 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 uh, it's work, it's work, but it's okay. We were built to do the work. So listen, I'm thinking one more, one more thing. And then we are off and we are working the word today. Okay. So listen, I want to pray and I just want to get right into it. Is that okay with you all? I hope that you are joining and sharing and here we go. Yeah. look like you guys are sharing. So thank you so much. So work the word Wednesday. So, um, Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus, we thank you for being God almighty. We thank you for being our Lord. We thank you for being our shepherd. Thank you for being our ruler, our guider. Thank you for being our father. Thank you for never leaving us nor forsaking us. Thank you for giving us breath in our body and activities of our limbs. It is our desire to learn of you, to grow in you, and to mature in your word. So today, help us to decrease that you may increase and that your word will continue to prosper every step of the way. And we give Give you glory in Jesus name. Amen. So listen, y'all, we are working the word. Hey, Nicole. So listen, we are working the word Wednesday. Um, we want you all to know, listen, what, yeah, we talked about surrender. We talked about patience. We talked about power. Listen, we have talked about power and energy by which the system operates. So many of us are operating out of so many different systems, but do you have the right system? And that is the power of the Holy Ghost, making sure that you have the ability to be able to see the supernatural work through you. And because what happened is that we get into life situations, we don't have the the uh the plan we don't have the idea we don't know how to get through it but i'm kidding i kid you not if you have the power of the holy ghost it will sustain you it will comfort you it will guide you through right we last week we talked about forgiveness man that was a heavy topic because people will come and do you wrong life situations will come and knock you upside the head but you have to walk in forgiveness and when we talked about forgiveness we said it must be a deliberate decision decision to release the feelings of resentment. You have to be deliberate in letting go of resentment and bitterness and burden and fear and grudges. You can't hold no grudge. You cannot hold no grudge. Hey, Monet. Hi, Mama Sandra. You cannot be holding a grudge. You have to make sure that that anger that, that is trying to overtake you does not overtake you because it will stagnate your footsteps. Hey, Julian, it's going to stagnate your footsteps. It will cloud your judgment on how to move forward. And so what we need to do is know how to forgive. Be deliberate in making a decision to release the resentment. Hi, Trish. So listen, today... This is this is one of the ones that, you know, uh, we're going to step on a lot of toes today. I'm going to go ahead and admit it. I ain't got no high heels on. I ain't even got no shoes on right now. <laughs> but listen, the word of God comes, as they say, a two-edged sword. It comes to cut us in and going out, going in and coming out. So it's important for us to be faithful no matter what. So hi, Mike uh, Gandy. So listen, work the word Wednesday. We're hoping that you are joining and you're sharing, you're spreading the good news and that you are offering the people the opportunity to be at the lunch table. So listen, I haven't seen anyone tell me what you're eating for lunch. What are you eating for lunch? What have you packed up? What have you, what kind of leftovers you got? What have you brought to the table? Some of us have put it in the microwave. Hey, Devana. Some have put it in the microwave and heated it up, but this is the lunch time. This is the lunch table. And so we come to the lunch table and we just get to talking, right? But today we're talking about the truth. Now, the word the Lord told me, this is how he wanted me to break it down. We must know the truth. You have to be aware and, and have knowledge of the truth. Now, you can't go and tell somebody something that you don't know. You have to go and become aware of what it is that you're talking about. Uh, for instance, if you say, listen, there's a big sale at Kmart, you want to have facts. You want to make sure that it's true. You're, oh, you clean the fish so you can have, okay, fish. Yes. What's for lunch? You have a fish, you prepare a little fish for dinner. Well, what you cooking right now? 
I know it's something good no matter what. <laughs> uh, I'm eating the word pasta, angel, eggs, buffalo, chicken dip. Whoa, your stomach must be real good, <laughs> Missy. <laughs> you got a whole uh, buffet going on there. I, listen, enjoy your lunch, okay? Because it definitely sounds good. So listen, we're talking about the truth. The Lord said to make sure the people be, uh, we must know the truth. You have to be aware of what you're talking about. You have to make sure that you have knowledge of what you're talking about. Just as I said, if you're going to say there's a sale at Kmart, you should have made sure you've done your research before you put the information out there. Make sure that you go in and do your investigation. Don't just say stuff and you, <laughs> don't say stuff that you don't have confirmation or you don't have anything to wait on to confirm what you're saying. We're going to get to a place, right? The other thing the Lord said, tell the truth. Stop lying. We have got to tell the truth right? When you tell the truth, it makes you feel so much more free. It makes you feel uh, 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 ready to move forward. It doesn't bind you up. Hi, LeVon. Uh, it doesn't weigh you out, but telling the truth. So what happened is you got to know the truth. So what's going to happen is all you got is the truth inside of you. Hey, Rihanna. And so then also you got to live in the truth. You have to exist there. You have to invest in the truth. You have got to make sure that you are telling the truth. Now, what is true? Truth is a fact or a belief that is accepted as true. Now, it's a fact that you are accepting the accurate information. It is a fact that I'm going to accept what is factual right? I have facts. I have belief in what I have received. When something comes your way and someone, you got to make sure that you are giving the right information, right? The property of being in accord, which is also agreement or harmony with the fact or reality. You have got to make oneself in connection and on one accord with what is an agreement or a harmony. If you're going to hold and carry the truth, you have to make sure the truth is with you. You are a part of it. Don't just be wishy-washy one moment you want to accept the truth because it looks good and then the other moment you want to let it go because it doesn't feel right. The truth is the truth. We're going to get to a place, but I need to make sure that you understand truth has validation. Truth is the reality and the fact of something. The truth is the uh, is loyalty. Truth is genuineness, sincerity, and honesty. Truth is tr trustworthiness. You got to have grip principles. Hey, Shantae. Um, Hi, Jason uh, Hurst, Pastor Jason Hurst. We want to make sure that when you tell the truth, you're being loyal to who you are, being loyal to what has been invested inside of you, what information that you've retained, what a concept that you have accepted. You have to be honest with what has been received. Don't receive it if you don't feel like it's going to bring out factual information or you could be aware now why would you offer something to someone that isn't factual because what's going to happen is is that it's going to weigh you down but then what also is going to do is not help the next person to move forward into better or greater the bible tells us that it's important that we as the stewards and the the carriers of the gospel that when we begin to tell the truth that we're basically giving you who christ is christ is the living truth right so as as the children of god as the believers of god we're carrying the truth so anything that comes out of your mouth we must, I'm excited already, y'all. When it comes out of our mouth, what we're doing is we're representing what's invested inside of us. We're representing what we have taken note. We found facts that Christ is the true living God. We found facts that Christ is the risen Savior. We found facts. There's proof. He had nails in his hands, nails in his feet. 
it is com confirmed that the truth that Christ is our Lord and our Savior. So if you have him in the inside and you say you live by the word of God, then that means that nothing but the truth has to come out of you. Let me pull back and calm down. <laughs> <laughs> We're working the word today. We're talking about the truth. I'm talking about being loyal to what you have said. I love and I carry. I carry the nothing but the word of God. Hey, Trinisha. Hi, Deborah. We're talking. Hi, Tabitha. We're talking about the true word of God. We're talking about I'm going to not only know the truth, but I'm going to speak the truth and I'm going to exist in the truth truth. You can't know the truth and try to hide it and not give it the best. The truth is what helps to make you free. Hi, Tanya. So we want to make sure as we work the word today, you understand that you can't just say, I know the truth and don't live in it. You can't just say, I heard the truth and don't speak it. You can't just say, I know the truth and don't know it fact that is accurate. You have to live by the truth and confirm by as you walk in the spirit as you walk in the love of God when there is a situation there should be nothing but the truth that comes out of you there should be nothing but factual information coming out of you there should be nothing but honesty coming out of you there should be nothing but loyalty coming out of you you have got to live in the truth we're working the word on today we're displaying the truth we're saying we're not going to be be liars. We're not going to be cheaters. We're not going to be deceivers. We're not going to be manipulators. We're going to live in the truth. I'm going to speak the truth. Even if it hurts, if it causes me to lose out on the most popular or the best, I'm going to be truthful because truth lives in me. You can't have the Father inside of you and don't have truth inside of you. God bless you all that's coming on the line. Today we're working the word Wednesday and we're talking about the truth. We're talking about we must know the truth. We must speak the truth and we must live in the truth. You cannot have the truth sitting on the sidelines waiting for you to make a decision if you want the truth to come out. The truth is the truth. The truth is a good all by itself whether you pick it up or not because whatever is done will come out but it's better if you as the saint of God the lover of God the believer of God to hold the, and accept what is accurate and what is factual hallelujah my Lord and my Savior is factual we're talking about we're talking about truth on today go back to the definition woman of god the definition of truth is a fact or belief that is accepted which means you have got to accept it and receive it you have got to accept it and receive it you got to let it digest in the inside that the fact or the belief is true that is accurate now, a lot of times we are told information and we just gravitate to it and receive it and never go back to confirm that it's factual or that it's real or it's even uh, honest or loyal. But the Bible tells us that we must be good stewards of the word of God and good stewards over what we allow to come in the inside. So you have got to get back into a, a, a sacred place with the Lord that says at the end of the day, there's nothing but truth that comes out of me. There's nothing but honesty that comes out of me. There's nothing but loyalty. How could you be so loyal to a man, to a woman, to your job? You so faithful with getting up, going to work, being there on time, making sure that you do your job, do what is instructed of you, but you can't be loyal to the word of God. You can't be honest with the word of God. That's not how my Lord and my Savior educated and taught us. He was an example of what truth looks like. 
He was an example of what truth lived like. Because what happened is that man, that woman, that job is not going to give you eternity. It's not going to heal you. It's not going to sustain you. It's not going to comfort you. What happened is the truth will comfort you. The truth will sustain you. The truth is what we must live by. You have got to know the truth. Go and search the scriptures and find the truth. If you are someone that is in, that investigates, go and find the truth. We're talking about the truth. You have got to tell the truth. The Bible tells us that all liars shall have their place. So what happened is, is that you want to lie? Go ahead and lie, but it's going to cost you something. It's going to cost you more to lie than it is to tell the truth. Yes, I did. I just stepped on somebody's toes because why? You decided that it was better to lie to the man or the woman to your job, telling them you're sick. That's a lie. If you didn't, if you're not earnestly sick, then you lie. You just lie. A lot of times we say, oh, that's just a joke. No, it's not a joke. It's a lie. It has got to be factual. And what happened is, is that we take it for granted that God gives us the opportunity to choice. We have a choice in the matter. Christ is a gentleman. He's not going to force anything on you. So, but what happened is you have got to make a conscious decision to make, to tell the truth. Because you know what? Christ will back you up. Who wants to be out here in this world and don't got nobody to back them up? I need an army to back me up. I need somebody that's going to hold me down. Somebody that's going to confirm at the end of the day. Oh, I can trust what she says. You wouldn't come on this line. You would not come and be a part of work the word if you couldn't trust the facts that I offer you, which is the truth. You should you be eating your lunch all by yourself. God bless everyone that's coming on the line. We're talking about telling the truth. I'm talking about you can't just know the truth and don't say the truth. Don't just know the truth and don't live in the truth. That doesn't balance. That doesn't work itself out. What happened is, is that when you tell the truth, you got the support of our Lord. When you tell the truth, you got the support of, of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost will sustain you and comfort you. But you can't be no liar and think he going to back you up and he going to confirm what you saying and doing. It don't work like that. Our father is not a liar. So what happened is that we're supposed to tell the truth. In all things, all things, you cannot tell the kids little white lies. You can't tell the traffic man little white lies. There is no such thing as no little white lie. There is no such thing as just saying, oh, I just was saying, or what I meant was, no, tell the truth. You got to have the truth all up in the inside. It cannot be on the back burden when you want to pick up and use it. The truth has to be the truth. We're talking about the truth today. Work the word wins. I hope that you're sharing. I hope that you are offering the word of God to someone else or just this time of conversation to someone else. Please make sure that you are offering it to someone else. We're talking about telling the truth. I'm talking about having loyalty in the inside, being honest, being sincere, having the principles, hallelujah, being accurate and making sure that it's factual. Be factual in this season. You do not want to be able to go and tell lies and think that you're going to make it to heaven. It does not work like that. We're going to get into some scriptures in a minute. That's going to confirm what I'm saying because I'm not going to tell you something that isn't true, that isn't accurate, that isn't factual because we are responsible for what comes out of our mouth. It said it's not what goes in a, not what goes in a man that defiles him and what comes out. So it's important that you invest in the truth so nothing but the truth comes out when you go before the court you put your hand up there your right hand and you say i'll tell the truth nothing but the truth so help me god so help me god what are you saying i promise i'm i'm making a best my best effort to tell the truth so that the lord will have my back that i promise that i'm gonna do it the right way 
How are you going to make that promise and loyalty unto a man before the judge and you can't keep that in the inside? Behind closed doors, in front of closed doors, and all of the above. We're talking about being honest. We're talking about being loyal. We're talking about being sincere. We're talking about being accurate. God bless you, Beverly. God bless you all that's coming on the line. I hope that you are sharing. I hope that you are offering. God bless you, uh, 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 Pop Taylor. We're thanking you all for coming on the line. We're talking about making sure that the information that you are putting out there, that you're telling the truth. We must know the truth. We must tell the truth and live in the truth. You have to be aware of what you're speaking because you can't just have the truth, but you have to exist and live in it. I, listen, what are you all eating for lunch? Don't forget to tell me what you're eating for lunch. We're at the lunch table. We, you know, I'm, I'm excited when we come to the lunch table because it's important that we not only just nourish on natural substance, but we have the word of God. So listen, we're talking about telling the truth. We want to us to be, listen, how you going to tell the kids, you better tell me the truth or I'm going to spank you. Now, how many of y'all done heard that? How many of you done said that as parents, if you don't tell me the truth, you getting in trouble. It applies to you too. You got a father in heaven. God bless you, Apostle Dina. Hey, Alicia. Listen, you have to tell the truth. Don't tell the kids. They got to tell the truth. And you could go out in the street and tell lies. It don't work like that. If you are going to be truthful and honest, make sure everything you say is factual. When you talk to the kids, when you go and you say something to them, you want to make sure if you don't tell me the truth, I'm going to spank you. If you don't tell me the truth, I'm taking your TV away. If you don't tell the truth, I'm not getting you this. I'm not getting you that. Exactly. Right, Trish, uh, Trish, uh, Teresa? Exactly. We do say that, right? We got to check ourselves because we're telling everybody else to tell the truth, but nobody, we don't want to be honest and tell the truth ourselves. The devil is a liar. We're going we gonna to cast that out right now. We're going to make sure you understand. You must tell the truth. When the, when the bill collectors call, because you know they call, you're supposed to tell them, listen, I don't have it right now, but my intentions is to make sure I resolve the debt. Not you saying, oh, I don't work. Oh, I ain't got the money. But you ordering pizza. You sit up here buying new stuff. You moving from one house to the next. You tell a lot. You're not, so it, you have to be honest. Listen, I'm telling you, it's it's not profiting any, hey, Vine, it's not profiting anyone to tell the lie. We must know the truth, tell the truth, and live at, Exist in the truth. Why don't you invest in something that's going to cause you long life and eternity by go ahead and telling the truth. The truth also is universal and cannot be changed. What happens is that when there's a fact and there's a truth, you can't change that. I'm black. I can't change that I'm black. I can't lie that I'm black, <laughs> that I'm not black. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ever had somebody just literally tell the lies in your face and you know the truth and you're sitting up here like, are you serious? Are you really serious? You going to tell me what, what this is? And I know I have facts. I mean, I got, I got the receipts. That's what they say. <laughs> I got the receipts. I know that you're lying. Somebody will tell you, nah, on uh -uh, the sky is purple. No, for real. It's really purple. Are you delusional? Are you confused? Are you is your mental state off because blue is blue, right? <laughs> Listen, we're talking about working the word today, and we're talking about telling the truth. Hi, Michael. We want to make sure you are telling the truth. We want to make sure that you're being honest. Be loyal. Be sincere. Make sure the facts are the facts. Make sure that you have accurate information. So when you begin to tell the truth, then you want to make sure that it is what it is. That you don't have to go back and wonder, did I not say it right? When you tell in the scriptures, the scriptures are truth all by itself. That's why it's important that you know the truth. That you know the word of God, that you're speaking it honestly so that people will be able to find life. There's life in telling the truth. Somebody type that. I'm going to type that. It is life when you tell the truth. 
There you go. There is life. <laughs> there is life when you tell the truth. Because what happened is that it, it brings a different level of, of freedom when you tell the truth. There's a different level of freedom when you tell the truth. Hi, Mama Wilson. We have got to tell the truth. God bless you all, Owen oh, Steve. We God bless you all. We're talking about telling the truth. We're making sure that you're not only just hearing that the truth exists, but you living in it and you speaking it and that you're fully aware of the accuracy of what's going on. Our God is the living truth. Hi, Felicia. So listen, I have a couple of scriptures that I want to make sure that we, uh, uh, we, we feed off on today and we enjoy on today. So John, the 14th chapter. So listen, uh, y'all know how it is. I'm all over 40. So I got to put my glasses on. <laughs> I hope that you all are enjoying the word of God on today. So listen, John 14 and six, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the father except through me. So he said, hold up, back up, partner. Wait a minute. You're not going to come any further until you be honest. Oh, Jesus said, I, Jesus answered and says, I am the way. I got the answer. I got the pathway. I got the plan. I got it all mapped out. And I got the honesty, the honest way of how you going to get it. But you're not going to get to my father unless you be loyal. Unless you be honest, unless you be aware, unless you have accurate information, unless you be genuine, unless you are factual. I need you to know at the end of the day, there's nothing that's going to come before my, you can't come to my father. You can't see God without making sure you come through me. And in order to come through me, I got to make sure you got facts you got the truth that you got it all right because what happened is is that this is the path that is going to bring you to greater god is greater in order to get to greater you have got to make sure truth lives inside of you amen I think John knew what he was talking about when he recorded and acknowledged that Jesus answered I am the way and the truth and the life Okay, so at the end of the day, if you really want to get further than where you are, you better tell the truth. Because I am that way. You got to have me in the inside. You have to be connected to me. Don't just say you love me. Don't just say you got me. Don't say I'm with you and you do not honor, honor what it is that I, I represent. You, if, if your children are going out there saying, oh, my mother name is, or my father's name is, you want them to represent the truth about you. Now, listen, let me tell you, I've been across that TikTok thing where they do, uh, and they talk about how uh, they trying to go for the um, $50,000, um, what is that, that $50,000 uh, scholarship right and they they bring the family member with somebody that they were inspired by and they put them on there and they say oh well yes i want to um win this scholarship um and so what happened is that you know i was inspired because my grandmother lived a life in the street she was a prostitute she did drugs she saw her body her name was honey out in, out in the street telling all these lies and what happened is is that you well, look at that person and be like, that's a lie. And that's why they were going off. That's why they were uh, cursing the people out. That's why they were going off and saying stuff. Hey, Mama uh, Rose, what happened was they were tell telling false information. They were not factual. So what happened was they were being dishonest. And so if you're going to represent God, you're going to represent our Lord Jesus, then you have to have the factual information. I know him as a healer. I know him as a sustainer. I know him as a way maker. I've seen him manifest miracles. He uh, caused blinded eyes to come open. Those are factual information. That is detail. That is accuracy. That is honesty. That is loyal. So all he's saying is to be my child and be loyal. Be my child and live in honest 
true. Be my child and be according to what you know and how you know it. And all you got to do is look in the word of God and the truth will be right there. I'm excited because I'm grateful that I have searched the scriptures to find out what the truth is. And the truth is that God is able to do all things but fail. The truth is, is that he is a supplier of all things. Hallelujah. The truth is, is that he's the living word. The truth is, is that he has never left me nor forsaken me. The truth is, is that he is able to prepare the way even when I don't know where it's coming from. The truth. That he he calls them the Red Sea to the park. He calls Moses that one that wasn't qualified, the one that looked like he wasn't capable to stand up and to lead his people. Hallelujah. Truth is, Jesus, he bared the cross for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even though he knew I was to be a wretch undone. Oh, come on and bless the name of Jesus. We're working the word Wednesday on today. And we're talking about the truth. I have accepted the facts. I have accepted the honesty. I've accepted loyalty. And I'm going to be a representative of that. I'm going to be the representative of truth. I'm not going to be on the sidelines telling lies, manipulating, and causing confusion that my father does not back me up on. You want real backing of the Lord? Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This this is another one that I'm excited about. 2 Timothy, the second chapter and the 15th verse. And it says, hallelujah, do your best. To present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and, and who correctly handles the word of truth. One that correctly handles honesty. One that correctly handles loyalty. He says, do your best. He knows that we're not perfect. He knows that we're going to make mistakes. He knows that we're going to be in between decisions. Hallelujah. He knows that we're going to have a rough time in our flesh because it does no good thing. But he still requires us to be honest. He said to correctly handle the word of truth. He says that you must present yourself. Present yourself to God as one approved. Hallelujah. He's going to say sanction who you are. He's going to present who you are. He's going to use who you are. He said a worker who does not be ashamed. I don't have to be ashamed to tell the truth. I don't have to be ashamed of who I am because why? I'm living in the truth. I'm existing in the truth. I'm giving the best that I can. I'm doing all that I know. What happened is that we're not held uh, uh, for something that we don't know, but we held accountable to what we do know. So what has to happen is, is that you have to get yourself in a place where you begin to search out accuracy. You're searching out the facts. If you don't understand something, Go and find the truth of it. Go and find the facts of it. Hallelujah. We're talking about work the word Wednesday. We're working the truth on today. We're not going to be liars. That's going to have our place in the fire. We want to make sure that we're telling the truth. The truth comes to make you free. It comes to liberate you. It comes to wake you free. It comes to put you in the right footsteps. When you begin to lie, you disalign your footsteps. When you begin to not be honest, when you begin to be unloyal, you take yourself out of the, the protection of our Lord. Oh God, I thank you. You take yourself out of the protection of our Lord when you begin to be dishonest, when you begin to tell the ungodly truth, when you begin to say something that's not factual. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have got to be okay with being genuine, being honest, being trustworthy. Hallelujah. Having the right principles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know that God is able to do all things. You can't say that and not live in that. 
Oh God, I thank you, Holy Ghost, because I hear you. I speak to whoever is having pain right in your back. I'm talking about on the uh, left side, hallelujah, in your upper back. I know that this doesn't belong to me because why? Did The Lord is speaking to me, whoever is having pain in your left side of your back. I pray right now that it looses you. You are released of that discomfort and it goes back to the pits of hell. Pain, release yourself of God's truthful, faithful servant. Pain, release yourself from God's call. Pain, release yourself from God's call. Oh, I feel the pain and the burden. I'm willing, oh God, to bear the infirmities of the weak. Lord, I ask you to strip the rights of the enemy right now that makes him think that it's okay to wait and burden your people with pain. You shall not have any more pain. And I walk in firm can believe. I walk in truth and knowing that God is a healer. I've seen him do it before and I know he can do it right now. You said it's you, Keisha Miller. We cover you right now. Hallelujah. By the power and the Holy Ghost that you shall walk a total bullshit in your freedom and in your complete healness. Hallelujah. My God is able to do all things but fail. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You must rightly divide the word of truth. You must take out time to understand what really is being said, what really has been prepared for us, and the truth has prepared us for us. Hallelujah. And so let's go forward. Uh, John 8 and 32, I think I saw someone put it up as well. And you will know the truth, and you will know honesty, and you will know loyalty, and you will know facts. You will know the principle. You will know sincerity. Hallelujah. And the sincerity will make you free. So what you give out will come back to you. What you offer will come back to you. You offer love, love comes back to you. Happiness, you offer happiness, happiness comes back to you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I have learned over my time, hallelujah, that people will be able, will come to you because they can trust you. They can uh, rest in your bosom. They can believe in you, but the people know when you are dishonest. People know when you're not being truthful, hallelujah. And what happens is that they they can feel it. It ain't even about me telling you. You can feel when uh, there is dishonesty in your con in your circumference or in your atmosphere. It doesn't sit right, right? Because it makes you feel like uneasy. But what happens is, is that the power of the Holy Ghost is not connected to that. The Holy Ghost is not connected to untruth. So the Bible says, and you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. Listen, it didn't say it will guess or it will come back and tell you. It will assume or it might make you free. No, it says it will make you free. It will clear the pathway for you. It will make it. It will make provision for you. It will make provision for you to be free in this season. How many people are believers? How many people are are willing to say, listen, I desire to have the facts. And I just believe that the facts come from our Lord. The truth comes from our Savior. The truth comes from our God. And I'm unwilling to put in the work so I can tell the truth. Listen, can you make a, a conscious decision today to say, listen, I'm going to manage my conversation and make sure my conversation is honest. I'm going to manage my conversation and make sure that it has loyalty attached to it. I'm going to manage my conversation and make sure that it has certainty on there, that I will be genuine, that I will be truthful, that I will be aware of what I'm saying. I just won't say stuff just because. I just won't say stuff just because 
because it's going to make the conversation look pretty or nice or going to help it to move forward. I'm going to be deliberate in my decision to be truthful. Hallelujah. Can you make a decision to be deliberate and being truthful on today? I'm talking about accepting the uh, the confirmation that I have truth and truth is what lives in me. I'm going to make an agreement. I'm going to have harmony with the truth. I'm going to make I am going to make harmony and I'm going to have walk in truth. I'm going to walk in agreement with the truth from this moment on. Hallelujah. God is able to forgive and forget. We just said this, uh, 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 I believe I, I ministered this on Sunday about how Peter said, how many times should I forgive them? He said seven times. No, no. What you need to do is God, the, God, the Lord said seven times. That's all you're willing to give them. No, 77 times and more. We're supposed to be able to forgive. But in order to forgive, we have to have the truth inside of us. Oh, I think that must have woke somebody up just now. You got to have the truth inside of you in order to forgive somebody else. You how you gonna forgive somebody else if you do not have truth inside of you? Truth is going to confirm that it's okay to move forward. Truth is going to confirm that it's okay not to exist there any longer. Truth is going to free you. It's going to make you free, right? If you offer forgiveness to someone, forgiveness will come back to you. You offer the truth to someone, truth is going to come back to you. So you got to make sure that you are living and existing in in the truth you can't just know the truth but you have to make sure that the truth lives in you you cannot be a liar okay i'm gonna say it again you cannot be a liar i'm gonna say it again you can you cannot be a liar there is no liars in the kingdom there is there's no liars in the kingdom. I was reading a story about Cain and Abel. I told her about, I told her about, I had her about, I had her about, hallelujah. He know what he did to his brother. Just because his gift was not acceptable. You have got to be honest and truthful because what happened, you tell one lie and you got to keep using every other lie to keep it, keep that one covered. You know how it is. You know how it is. You have you. They say one lie, and then all of a sudden, you gotta keep telling that same lie, and then you gotta keep on using another lie to cover up that lie, and it never ends. You're building up darkness when you are lying. God bless you, Barbara Samuel. God bless you all. When you make, when you tell a lie, you are building up darkness inside of you. Let me confirm that to you. You are building darkness because what happened is, is that you are building a place that says. I don't know how to be free. Being free says tell the truth. It just said it in John 8. And you will know, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. So what happened is, is that you have got to tell the truth so that truth will always keep you existing moving forward. My God is great and he is greatly to be praised. So listen, I'm going to say it again because I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. I need you to make sure you say this to yourself. I am not a liar. I do not lie. I do not lie. Okay. I do not give place and platform to the enemy or to lies, to untruth or unworthy things. I am loyal to the truth. And I will find the truth so that I can continue to exist in that. When you feel backed up against the wall, you feel like you don't have nothing else to say. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Don't say anything. Hallelujah. The actual facts or facts about the matter. Only tell what is truth and real about what's going on so listen we're working the word wednesday on today and we're talking about the truth we must not we must know the truth which means you must be aware and acknowledge of the truth you have got to tell the truth don't be a liar 
and you got to live in the truth. You have to invest and exist in the truth. Exist in loyalty, exist in honesty, and exist in the principles of what truth is. We want you to know truth is important, right? I know there's a whole lot of scriptures that talks about truth. And if any of you want to put them on the line on post it, you feel free to help us out and tell us some more about the scriptures that talk about you. But these are some of the ones that kind of spoke to my spirit and just helped me just to see the real uh, benefit of telling the truth, right? So also don't forget, this is Work the Word Wednesday. We're at the lunch table. We're having our lunch chat. You know I like to be a good steward over your time, but I also want to make sure you're eating good things. You're taking our time for your temple and eating those fruits, those vegetables, and you're drinking a lots and lots of water. So make sure you're telling me what you're eating for lunch on today. Make sure that you're, you're telling, I'm in orientation, listen to what. Oh, blessed be the name of God. We pray that everything goes well. Hey, Mama Why? Yes, tell the truth, live in the truth, and make sure you t that you know the truth. Hallelujah! You can't deny. You can't deny what the truth is if you learn what the truth is. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Y'all know how it is. Somebody to out here doing making rumors, telling lies telling misinformation about you, you want to make sure you get out there and you say, listen, to be, let me tell you what the truth is really is, okay? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Listen, also, because it just came back to me, hey, Tish, it just came back to me. I just was ministering on Sunday at both of our locations here in the New York State. Um, and when the Lord has said, um, what was the first one? Um, Oh my goodness, it just left me. Oh my gosh, help me, Jesus. Uh oh wait. It talked about um oh stay thirsty for greater, right? And then the other part was uh uh my thirst turned it for me. My thirst turned it for me. That's what it was. And so we were talking um and making sure that you understood about how your greater is right there with you. But you have to stay thirsty. You have to stay. And in order to stay thirsty, you got to be able to hunger for it, which means I want more. I want truth, right? I can't even remember what I was going into. Oh, um, uh. Uh, what's her name? Oh, the lady at the woman at the well, the Samaritan woman that was at the well, right? And so what happened is, is that Jesus was like, listen, I know about them five husbands and the one you with ain't yours either. So what happened is, is that he was telling her her truth. She could not deny any of that, right? She couldn't even say, oh, you was a liar. I wasn't with them men. I didn't, she couldn't say that because it was facts. It was truth. And so what happened is Jesus knows what's happening. Jesus knows the truth. You can't get out of the truth. You can't deny the truth. You can't reject the truth. You can't even walk away from the truth. You might as well go ahead and live and exist in it. You might as well go ahead and be a good steward over what the truth is. So I'm here today to tell you, you must know the truth. You must tell the truth and you have got to live in the truth. You cannot not tell the truth. So listen, today we're talking about Work the Word Wednesday. We're talking about Tell the Truth. Hey, Wachaya. Hallelujah. So listen, I pray that you all have been blessed. I pray that you have received something on today. I pray that there was something that has, has sparked your spirit and has uh, encouraged you to want to find out what are the facts? What are the truth? What is the, uh, what, how do I remain loyal to what I know? How do I show representation of who Christ is, what he really is? How can I be honest? How can I be upfront and be uh, accountable to what my words are saying? Because what happened is, is that you have to be accountable. You have to be accountable. You can't just go ahead saying stuff and don't know what's what, what you're saying. You have to make sure that truth rests in the inside. So listen, I am excited that you all have spent the time with me. You came to the lunch table and you have eaten your food and you have yet been a part of Work the Word Wednesday. This is just some inspirational uh, words of encouragement, just some time for us to be able to share together and just learn of God's word, learn each other and grow in God's grace. So listen, please don't go out there being a liar.
<laughs> I know you like, girl, mind your business. No, you are my business. We're supposed to tell the truth. We are helpers one to another, right? We are our brother's keeper. And I'm supposed to make sure you tell the truth. Now, let me let me ask y'all. Do some of y'all tell people that they lie? You can tell, you can, you can say it on the comments here. Have many of you said, listen, I, I, I love you. You my boo. You my girl, you my man, but I know you telling a lie right now. How many of you actually have been able to confront somebody and tell them, that's not the truth, so don't say that. That's not right. That's not good. Let's go ahead and find out what really happened or what really is. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry said you all you are, you are in my business. <laughs> so listen, we it's okay because you know what? The Bible going to hold us accountable. Now you cannot grandma, uh, grandma said tell the truth and then shame the devil. Absolutely. Tell the truth and shame the devil. You better not be sitting around here letting the devil, letting these people tell lies and keep on walking around here not telling the truth. The truth is important. You have got to know the truth. You have got to speak the truth. And you got to live in the truth. You, oh, Nicole, you tell people they be lying. Listen, I do not have a problem with pulling a coattail. Y'all already know me, okay? I will pull a coattail and be like, excuse me. When my friends ask me something, I say, you want me to tell, to lie or tell the truth? <laughs> Shereen, listen, that's good that you be an honest. But we need to make sure that people don't live in, in, in options or, or in between truth. You got to, listen, you want me to tell you the truth or you want me to lie? Listen, you better tell, I'm going to always tell you the truth. <laughs> because you know why? I'm projecting who I am. I'm forgiving you who I am. I'm late. Good, good news. Oh, hey, Kia, uh, Kata. We thank God for all of you jumping on the line. Please feel free to go back and read and watch and listen in to what we're, we're talking about telling the truth. Um, we're making sure that nobody walking around here being liars. You cannot be a liar and say, I love the Lord. He can, he is not resting in the inside. If you say I'm a liar, listen, you have to give an account to that at some time. It might look like it. My mother used to say, oh, you think you getting away, but you only getting by. You're not getting away. You just getting by for the moment. Truth will set you free. It sure will make you free. It's going to free you if you allow it to make you free. Amen. So let's Listen, don't forget, we're working the word Wednesday on today. We're telling the truth. We are not liars. You cannot be in the kingdom, be a, a liar. Stop lying. Amen. People cannot accept the truth for real. Oh, they don't. They sure can't, Shereem. I respect that. I respect that. But you know what? God has made you somebody that is able to provide honesty and loyalty. So you got to keep on telling them the truth. Even if they walk away, even if they don't know how to uh, accept it, you have to say, listen, this is who I am. That's what happens. We have to say, this is who I am. I am the makeup of Christ. I... Christ made me. He he allowed me to, he said, in my image and in my likeness will I create them. So what happened is, is that he gave us honesty. He allowed us to have truth inside of us. So we can't offer anything less than who Christ is. So if you they got a problem with your truth, they need to go and take it up with the word of God. They need to take it up with God. Teach them kids not to be lies. Absolutely. Listen, when you start letting those kids tell lies and you don't call them out, you're allowing those seeds to mature and to grow. So what happens is, is that as you get older, as you mature, as you get of age, you're going to always believe you can get away with a lie. And those lies is going to keep on um, uh, uh, multiplying and increasing. And you're going to keep on trying to find a way uh, to escape out of those lies. You're going to try to keep on trying to find a way to be able to just keep on giving lie after lie, right? So you know some you know some people start believing it. Yeah, they do. They do start believing in their own lies. They done lied so much that they done manipulated their minds to believe that it's the truth. That is not. That is not. Mm -mm. That's not good, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not good. That's really not good. Listen, I just earnestly want to encourage somebody today. 
as the Lord told me today for Work the Word Wednesday, that tell the truth, know the truth, and live in the truth. Be the best keeper of the truth. Be the best keeper of honesty and let God shine bright through you. What happened is that when you tell the truth, it's all that you're doing is letting God shine bright. You're just allowing God to show his greatness through you. When you uh, are letting God be great in you, you just say, I'm just a representative of who you can get connected to, right? Um, hi, Shanika Wallace. We thank God for you. Hallelujah. So listen, I want to encourage somebody on today to just take our time. Don't be a liar and don't let lies come your way. It's all right. In, in, in good respect and being able to, with love and kindness, to be able to stop people from lying to you. You will hope they will stop lying to everybody and themselves. But don't come to me with those lies. Don't, don't tell me those lies. And I'm not going to let those lies be a part of me. Hallelujah. So listen, I, wanna, I want you all to be blessed on today. Make sure that you are working the word throughout the week. We are doing our best out here to offer God's word and to offer inspirational uh, word um, throughout the week, especially on a Wednesday at 12 o'clock. This is the middle of the week. We're exhausted. We're tired. We don't even want to finish the work day, but I hope that this has rejuvenated you. It's given you a spark. It's given you some excitement and some ump. And you're saying, listen, I, done, I, done, I got some, I got some uh, energy. I'm ready to keep on going. I'm ready to move forward. And I got to get through this week. And let truth carry you through the week. Now, I, I listen, I'm challenging you all today to make sure you go and you tell the truth. That's so sad. You got to challenge people to tell the truth. <laughs> but nevertheless, we got to start somewhere. We got to make an effort. We got to make a step. Hallelujah. Can I, can I encourage uh, Miss Wallace? I may not be saying your name correctly. Uh, S-H-E-I-N-K-W-A Wallace. Shaniqua Wallace. Hallelujah. Can I encourage you on today? Can I tell you the Lord is telling you that it's going to get better? Hallelujah. He does not want you to be discouraged in this season and especially this month. God says, do not be discouraged in this month. I know that there's some things that have come to try to uh, weigh you down and to try to re re make you wavery in. And I don't know what this month represents, but God says, make sure you understand that it will get better. Hallelujah. Every day that you face and you wake up and you go forward, God says, you are I see you fighting in the spirit because you're saying I am determined to push through. I don't know what this represents. Something has happened that you you are fighting your way through this month and God says I got your back daughter. I support you. I am with you and I will make it easier for you. God says I shall make room for greater in your life. I decree and declare that the peace that passes all understanding shall come over your life. Hallelujah. I want to tell you also, hallelujah, be careful who you have conversation with because who you have in conversation with doesn't always mean that they have your best interest at heart. God, God said, some will rather you live in misery than to see you be free and in peace. Hallelujah. Let me calm down. Hallelujah. They would rather see you not prosper. But God says, daughter, you said confirmation. I'm telling you, I feel that heaviness on me. Your circle has to shrink. And that's okay because what happens is, is that as it shrinks, it's strengthening and it's causing more peace in your life. God says, daughter, be not not weary in well doing just be faithful hallelujah in the footsteps that i have charged over your life listen you have a great work to do but what's happening is is that sometimes we become teeter totter because we don't really have the the solid rock to stand on um a lot of times what happens is we want to move forward but 
our, our, our foundation doesn't always seem as solid. So we, we don't feel as confident to move forward. But daughter, I got your back. I'm covering you in prayer. I'm covering your life. I'm covering your next step. I'm covering your next step because you will not hesitate in this season to move this to move step. I don't care what it takes, okay? I, oh, yeah, no, no, bullshit. I don't care what it takes. After this month, you cannot, you cannot delay after this month. I hear the Lord saying, after this month, I, Shaniko Wallace, I give you this month. After this month, your footsteps are to order for you to delay and to drag from this moment on. After this month, you better run and be not where you better get yourself together and do the work. Put it on paper and get to grinding. I mean, you better grind like never before. You better go forward and do what God has charged you to do. He got your back and you delaying the resources. There's resources that has a time that must present itself to you. And God is waiting on you. But I'm grateful we serve such a merciful God. We serve such a kind God, hallelujah, that he's so great that he's telling you right now. After this month, after this month, you have no excuse but to get it done. And we give God glory. We give God honor. Come on, if you don't mind hearting and liking and clapping your hands for the woman of God, because the Lord loves her. He's mindful of her. But we're saying we will not allow there to be any more stagnancy and no more drag, no more delay in your prosperity. There's work for you to do. There's a kingdom assignment that must move forward and you will get the job done. It is so after this month I'm going for it. I, I bless God for you. You as a soldier in the army of God's great place. We're thanking God that you have a passion to say, God, I'm willing to do the work. That's all he's asking us to do is just be faithful over the assignment and the work. Hallelujah. Let me encourage Vanessa, Vanessa Hulet. I think H-U-L-E-T-T. Vanessa, can I encourage your spirit? Hallelujah. Listen, one of the things that I'm learning is I'm asking people for permission because what happened is that you're not going to go back and say that I told your business. No, it's God telling the business, but I want to confirm that you're okay with me speaking what thus said the Lord. If you're not okay with that, that's fine with me. I can hold it because the, the word is subject to the prophet or uh, I can tell you at a later time whenever you decide to link in with me. Me, but I want to confirm that it's okay for me to speak and tell Vanessa, go ahead. Thank you so much, woman of God. Can I tell you, woman of God, the Lord says that trouble don't last always. Trouble don't last always. I hear God saying, they shall get off your back. And trouble don't last always. I need you to know that everything that has laid on your back in these last few months, God said it has an assignment and a purpose. And God says, daughter, you wearing it well. God says, I got a plan that you are going to be so victorious in. And to the point where you're going to be able to go and testify. Woo! You are going to testify and say there was nobody but my God that brought me through that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Girl, my goodness. I know that it's heavy. I feel the weight. I'm talking about, I can feel, I don't know who you are, but I feel like if it was natural, you would be walking with a hunchback. That's how heavy. That's how. And I decree and declare the strength and the power of the Holy Ghost that will lift up your head in this season. Oh, they shall not be victorious. They shall not be victorious. Oh, yes. Okay. So, 
A lie is a lie and the truth is the truth. Let me say it just like that. Let me say it just like that. A lie is a lie and the truth is the truth. And God says you will be... He is a redeemer and don't you worry about it because God says, daughter, you belong to me. You don't belong to nobody else. So you don't have to, you don't have to feel like you have to defend yourself or make yourself accountable. God says, I am going to defend you. I got your back. And when I tell you when the truth comes out, when the facts is revealed, <laughs> woo! when the facts is revealed, they will know, they will know it's basha, that you are God's chosen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let them say what they want to say. You may not have everything perfect and nobody's looking for you to be perfect. Nobody's expecting you to have it all perfect. We still are trying to learn the word of God. We still trying to learn how we're supposed to live holy and acceptable. This is a daily excitement for us. This is a daily walk with us. We're trying to learn the truth. But truth is to be built up in the inside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is merciful and kind. You know one thing I just don't understand? And I get it. I get it. That's why he's our Lord. People are so uh hard. People are so just just so uh, uh un um compassionate. They so lack of compassion. Listen, at the end of the day, we all make mistakes. We all fall short of God's glory. We all have not done it correctly. But when you find out the facts and the truth, you get up and you go and you go and redeem yourself. You go and get back on track. That's all God's saying is get back on track and do it the right way. All I expect of you is to continue to have a willingness to try, have a willingness to do. That's all he ever asks us. So listen, at the end of the day, people going to come to try to smack you down, hold you down, keep you from getting back up. But Vanessa, you getting back up. You get up and do what you got to do. Dust yourself off. As they say, dust them shoulders off and keep it moving. Don't let this weight try to hold you back. Absolutely not. You carry out the work that God has called you to and be faithful over it. All I ask of you, all I ask of you is that is don't forget to testify and tell of God's goodness and let the world know that God did it and that he is faithful and that he is able to do all things but fail. Listen, let us encourage our sister. Come on, let us encourage our sister. Make sure that you reach out and, and, and give her some hearts or or clap your hands, or do something, pray for her. We want to encourage our sister in Christ, Vanessa, letting her know that we got her back. I won't, I promise. Thank you, honey. Thank you, baby girl. I appreciate you. Hallelujah. Because God is faithful in all his ways, and he definitely got our back. Listen, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. God is able to do all things but fail. And listen, he is the truth. So listen, today we talked about work the word Wednesday. We're talking about truth. Nicole Daniels, hallelujah. I thank God for you being on the line. Let me encourage your spirit, hallelujah. Let me know that it's okay, Nicole, to encourage your spirit, hallelujah. I'm not in good reach to you right now, but I want you to give me confirmation that it's okay for me to be able to tell you what thus saith the Lord. If not, once again, as I said earlier, we you can reach out to me later on. And as the Lord leads, I will give you what thus saith the Lord. But just know that God is mindful of you on today, Nicole Daniels. Hallelujah. Listen, today is a work the word Wednesday. We are being faithful over telling the truth and letting God be honest and present in our life. The only thing that comes out is the truth. We're not liars. We're not liars. Okay, you said it's okay. So, Nicole, I, I want to tell you the Lord says, I'm going to remove the blinders off your eyes there is another layer of, of 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 freedom that is coming to you god says i'm going to remove the blinders i'm not talking about you're walking in um unrealness or anything like that i'm saying that there is still um some concern there's still some uh wavery there's still some um 
Is it really what it really is? God says, I'm going to remove that, that next level or layer off your eyes. And I'm going to let you really see why you're where you are right now. Why the truth. Why the truth. Which is the loyalty and the honesty. Which is the facts. Which is certainty in the principles, which is going to be very present in your life. God says, I am going to reveal to you this great level of power that is in your life. Because what what happens is, is that, and I feel the consuming fire of the Holy Ghost. If we be honest, some of us is scared. And some of us are afraid of really fully entrenching ourselves into the fullness of the assignment that God has called us to. And what happens is that we are, we still feel stuck. We still don't feel like we really are in the fullness. And what happened is God is saying today, I want to reveal that to you because there's so much and so quick that he desires to use you. Hallelujah. You do not know how essential and important you are in the kingdom. God is saying, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I need you to know that God has favored you. And the Lord is saying, I am going to remove the next layer off your eyes so that you will see I am real. And I really am calling and charging you with a greater assignment. And you have no really no option and no choice, but you can decide if you want to or don't. But really... I believe that you want to be, obey God and you really want to be in the fullness of God. Hallelujah. So today, the word of God for you on today is let him remove the layer off your eyes. Let him remove your total bullshit. Let him really fully remove it off of you. Hallelujah. So that you can walk in your freedom and your wholeness a why and who God has called you to be. Hallelujah. 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 I know people of God that when we say yes to the Lord, it's scary. It, you know, we, 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 we really don't know what's behind our yes. We already have an idea of what it, what it feels like when we say yes. But what happens is, is that when you take it to the next level, yes, we are not we're not really we're, we're not really confirmed on what's behind it. And after you've had some stuff that come with that first yes and that second yes and that third yes, <laughs> you hesitate to the next level of yes. But today the Lord is telling you, Nicole, that there is another level of a yes that shall be over your life, and He will get the glory, He will get the honor. And so today, work the word Wednesday, you must yet know the truth, tell the truth, and live in the truth. And the truth is, it's time for your greater. It's time for your greater. So listen, people of God, I thank God. I thank God. I, I just feel the presence of God. And you all know, I like to try to be a good steward over your time. I try to make sure that you understand that I am here to just be faithful over the word of God. I'm here to offer you the abundance of who God is and what he's called us to. Today, work the word. We're talking about the truth, the truth, the truth. You cannot be a liar. Do not lie. Be honest. Have loyalty. Be uh, be certain. Have the principles and make sure that you are being committed and, and in harmony with the truth. You have to be in harmony. You have to be in agreement with telling the truth. You can't walk around here saying, I am a child of God. I love our God that God lives inside of me. God does not live inside of the liar. Hallelujah. He does not exist in an unclean temple. It doesn't work like that. You have 
have got to be uh, um, diligent and faithful over telling the truth. Do not lie to people. Don't lie to yourself. Don't lie. Do not do not make a commitment to unclean truth. Do not make a commitment to dishonesty and, 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 and dysfunction. All you're doing is causing dysfunction when you are lying because one lie, as we said earlier, is going to turn into another lie. It's going to turn into another lie and you got to find other lies to keep those lies up. It's not worth it. So today we're talking about you must know the truth, be aware and have the knowledge of what truth is. You also have to speak the truth. You have to tell the truth. Be honest. Be honest. And also you have got to live in the truth. You have got to invest in it. You have to exist there. Do not uh, 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 um, delay in telling the truth. Do not allow the truth to be on the sidelines why you do whatever you want to do it don't work like that you can't you can't say you love god and be a liar i just i'm just telling you that um god bless you michael williamson and anthony pastor anthony <clears throat> michael williamson hallelujah can i is is it all right that i speak life to you on today how it's on a boat if it is okay as i said tell me that it's okay that i can tell you the word of god that i can speak life to you and if it's not okay, I don't have a problem with that. We can tell you later on if thus saith the Lord, but I need permission. I'm going to ask for permission to be able to speak life to you. Today we're talking about, hey, Tiffany, today we're talking about tell the truth. We can't tell our children, you better tell me the truth or you're going to get a spanking or a whooping. And then you go ahead and you tell lies and you don't think there's no consequences. It's consequences to you not telling the truth. It's consequences to you not being honest. <clears throat> it's consequences to you not making sure that you have loyalty in your mouth, in your life. Hallelujah. So listen, today we're talking about work the word Wednesday. It is tell the truth. I Listen, we're still at the lunch table. I'm We'll give it about nine more minutes. I think we're going to 1 30, okay? 1 30, and we got to get up. Hallelujah. And then we're going to go ahead and let you continue the rest of your day and make sure that you are yet challenging yourself. If you are a liar, be honest that I am a liar. I don't know how to tell the truth. You have to admit to knowing that you don't tell the truth. And if you're not, you don't tell the truth, I challenge you. To tell the truth. I challenge you to go and say something that is honest. Hi, Charlotte Johnson. Make sure that you go and tell the truth and be honest on what thus saith the Lord. You cannot, you cannot walk around here being uh, a manipulative and being dishonest. You have to tell the truth. So listen, today is Work the Word Wednesday. Y'all know we come on here every Wednesday as God see fit and he allows us to wake up on, on the day. Um, at 12 o'clock, this is the midday, this is midweek, uh, we make sure that we offer you some tools of uh, excitement, some tools of inspiration, so that you can get through the week, you can get through the day, you can find yourself <clears throat> being able to be energized and be uh, built up to be able to go forward in the week. You listen, you don't even know who you are um, preparing to be an inspiration to. They talk about we are living epistles, and so what happened is, is that we're... Sometimes the only Christ that people see and you have got to make sure that you are equipped so that people will see the real God that you serve, the real God that you rely on, the real God that is faithful. So what happens is, is that you may be able to offer them the truth. And what's going to happen is they're going to go and tell somebody else the truth. And they're going to go and tell somebody else the truth, right? You know, so at the end of the day, we are faithful to honesty we are faithful to the love of god listen what are you all eating for lunch listen we got a few more moments we have been working the word on today and i'm hoping that you are still eating good lunch that you all are being faithful over the call over the assignment it doesn't look like um uh uh mr michael williamson is still on the line but i pray life i pray the, uh, that i get an opportunity to encourage and speak life to him at another time hallelujah but in the meantime y'all listen make sure that we're praying for our brothers and sisters in christ you never know what someone's going through you never know what's really people have to face and we want to make sure that we are being good stewards hi tajay davis we want to make sure that we're being <clears throat> to uh tawana davis i think that's what to say we want to be faithful 
over God's people and as we be good stewards over the word of God. So listen, I think I'm done. I think that I'm done. I think that we have worked the word on today. I think that we have prepared the way for a great uh, ending of our week. Um, we are also, we're, listen, <clears throat> tomorrow I'm getting ready to go to, uh, um, what is it, Boss Lady, uh, Boss Move, um, uh, Sisterhood. We're going to be a panelist on there tomorrow talking about, you know, just the, the different things that we have to face when we are uh, business women as well as uh, entrepreneurs or development in, in ministry. And then listen, y'all, Wakanda, Wakanda forever is on Friday. Listen, I hope that you all are preparing the way. Listen, we're going to be dressed up to kill. We're going to, we're not dressed to kill. Nope. Take that back. See, y'all see how quick that was? You see how quick that was? And now that is not the truth. I'm not going to be dressed to kill. <laughs> I am going to be dressed sharp for the red carpet on this coming Wednesday. I mean, this is coming Friday. <laughs> I'm glad I came on. I was using, uh, I was, uh, I'm using working. Amen. <laughs> if God said to say, I'll be there. Good, good. I can't wait. I'm praying that we'll be on the red carpet together, taking our selfies, looking forward to such an amazing time as we go forward. Uh, this is a major topic. Absolutely, absolutely. Being, um, you know, a lot of people, uh, uh, you know, bypass uh, when you have to confront those areas in your life that may not be honest. You have to confront those areas in our life that we may not have put the best effort to. And telling the truth, you have to put effort to that. You know, um, telling the truth, you have to uh, make a conscious decision um, to uh, be faithful and to be honest and to be loyal to it. You know, be consistent with it. You know, um, so it's important that we do not um, get wavery when the situation comes that gives us options to lie. Don't be wavery in in in, in um, making decisions to lie. You stay consistent and be uh, honest and being able to be truthful. A little leaving leaving the whole lump. It sure does. It's exactly. You can't think you're going to go ahead and leave a portion out and it's not really going to mean anything. No, it means a whole lot. And it, it talks about your character. Like it really uh, uh, displays your character when you, uh, be, when you lie, when you leave out facts, when you don't tell the truth, when you don't be honest, it starts with a small lie. Exactly. It starts with just one sentence, one word. Oh, I didn't know. No, you knew. You know, you didn't, you know, you know, that's that right there is, is very, uh, quick. You know, uh, a lot of times we're not being conscious of what we're saying. We're just saying stuff and moving. But I believe that when, um, when Jesus had to bear the cross and when he was preparing the way for us, that he was very honest within himself, that he had an assignment to accomplish. And even though it hurt, even though it didn't feel good, even though, you know, he had to walk a path that people would have never imagined had to happen. At the end of the day, he lived and stayed consistent in his truth. And his truth was, is that I'm here for my people. He didn't lie to us. He didn't, you know, I come to redeem my people. And then he back up after a couple months and said, no, nah, this is too much. No, he held on to his truth and he was faithful over his truth. So listen, I want to say Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us on today and being a part of Work the Word Wednesday. Today we talked about the truth. We are talked about making sure that you, you know the truth, you speak the truth, and you exist in the truth. I pray that there was something that was said that you all will be able to continue the rest of your week with. I pray that you are excited to tell the truth, that there is no more delay in t being dishonest. There is no delay in you being loyal. There is no delay in you having the right principles on your mouth, in your heart. I pray there is no delay in making sure that you are being accountable to who exists in the end. Inside. If Christ lives in the inside, then the truth lives in the inside. And we remember, we talked about how the truth will make you free. So let the truth make you free. Let the truth shine bright and, shine and show up in your life. Somebody's looking at you and hoping that they will be able to find out what does it take to be you. 
How did you overcome? The truth is what made me overcome. The truth is what carried me through. The truth is what provided the way that I may be able to continue to live and be honest. Listen, being honest for yourself, sometimes you got to talk to yourself and say, you know what, self? I'm going to be honest with you today. I'm just not feeling the best. I'm going to feel be honest. I just don't want to be bothered. It's okay to tell the truth. It is it is the right thing to tell the truth, right? So listen, work the word Wednesday. Listen, if you can, join us again on next week as we continue to work the word on Wednesday. I po I, 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 I pinned it as well. Please go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yeah, I, I, I'm working. I'm working her through. I'm working her through. We're getting an opportunity just to spread the good news. And we're just trying to do our portion. That's it. I know that there's many of things that you could be doing, but I'm asking you, if you don't mind, go and subscribe to the YouTube channel and make sure that you continue to follow us on Work the Word Wednesday at 12 o'clock. Meet me at the lunch table where we're having good conversation and definitely eating good food. So listen, till next time, be blessed, enjoy your day, and make sure you do not lie. <laughs> <laughs> We're not liars. In Jesus' name, amen. Be blessed. <laughs>